Today I want to show you how to set up your hardware synths for MIDI and audio in Reaper. All right, so here we are in Reaper. First thing we're going to want to do is create three new tracks. Then the next thing we're going to want to do is group these all together using the folders option here. So on the top folder, if you just click this once, now it's going to group them together in a folder. But one thing we want to do is click the last folder twice here. The reason you want to do that is because we only want these three tracks grouped in our folder. If we don't do that on the last folder, any other tracks that we create in the future are going to be lumped in with this group and we don't want that. All right, the next thing we want to do is just name these so we know what's what. Today I'm going to be using my Moog Minotaur, so I'm just going to name it Minotaur. Then this next track is going to be for our MIDI. And the last one's going to be for the audio. All right, now what we want to do is come to our MIDI track, click the routing button. This is the important part here. So right now we're going to select the MIDI output. Right now it says there's no output selected. So what we want to do is find the synth that we're using. So you just choose whichever one you're trying to set up. And then after that, all we want to do is just pick a open channel for our MIDI that we have. So I'm just going to select channel one, but any channel that you have that's free and open is going to work. So we can close that. All right. So the next thing you want to do is arm this track so we can set the input. And what I'm going to do is select MIDI because this is our MIDI track. And then instead of selecting the Moog, since the Moog doesn't have a keyboard built in, I have it hooked up to my Hammer 88 Pro. But instead of that, what I'm going to do is select all MIDI channels. So that way I could trigger this Minotaur with my Prophet 5, for instance, or this MIDI keyboard however you want to do it. But if, if you don't like to have the all MIDI channels selected, then just choose whichever controller through this menu, input, MIDI, find whatever controller you want, and then just select all channels on whichever one you end up picking. All right, next we're going to arm the audio track for recording, and then we want to select its input as well. In this case, I'm just using a mono synth, the Moog Minotaur's mono, so I only need one input. So what I'm going to do is come here to mono, and I'll just use input one. Now say if you had a stereo output synth, like the Rev 2 or something like that, what you'd want to do is just come here, select stereo, and then that way you'll have both inputs live and ready to go. Okay, and then the next thing we want to do is come here and just select input monitoring only. So we're going to disable the record for now. And the reason you want to do that is so that way you can tweak your patches until you get them just how you want them. And then what we can do after that is come back here pick this option after we have our patches exactly how we want them. And that's gonna record the MIDI and the audio at the same time. All right, but for now, I'm just gonna put it back to input monitoring only. And then I'll kind of show you how this works. Let's, let's see if we got the setup right, if we get some sound. All right, so that worked. Now let's do a little record test. So. When I press record, it should only record my MIDI notes and not the audio for now, since I have the record disabled. All right, so now what we can do, the cool thing is, as this MIDI plays back, maybe what you want to do is loop this. Come down here, just turn this toggle on or off, that's your loop. So now what I can do is I can play this, and as it's playing, I can tweak settings on the Minotaur and get the patch exactly how I want it. All right, so let's say I'm happy with that sound. Now what we wanna do is come back to this audio track and just enable the record input. All right, so now we can play this back, but what we wanna do first is disable the MIDI record because otherwise it's going to record over that as you're trying to record the audio. So we'll disable there and then we can hit record and it's just going to record whatever you had on the MIDI track. All right, so that's pretty much it. The only thing you do want to do when you play back is mute the MIDI channel. Otherwise, it's going to be triggering twice. So it's going to be playing your audio that you just recorded on the audio channel and triggering from your MIDI channel. So if you mute this when you play back, then you're just going to hear your audio track, your final audio.
and I am clipping a little bit, but I'm not worried about that because I'm not keeping any of this. And I'm also not clipping on my track here. But if you were doing this for a final take, you just want to turn down the output on your synth. That's pretty much it. Pretty quick and easy if you know how to do it. This took me forever to figure out how to do because I couldn't find much info about it online as far as Reaper is concerned. So hopefully this helps and I'll catch you guys in the next one.